Photo gallery package includes four widget options, three of which are available with the free version. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how they work and we'll talk about their options. Let's start with the photo gallery widget. First, I need to go to appearance, click on widgets, and then I need to locate the photo gallery widget right here. I will click on it and will choose secondary widget area and click on add widget. A menu box immediately opens which asks me to give it a title photo gallery one for me. For me it is a gallery not an album so I will leave it at that. I will select my gallery. I have named it gallery one when I previously created it. I would like random images to show so I will leave it at that. Here you can specify a number of images to be displayed in your album or a gallery. By default four is selected. You can also choose the dimensions of your widget from the dimensions area and you can choose the themes. There are two themes to select. In Pro version you can edit the themes as well as add new themes in the photo gallery themes menu on the left here. Photo gallery and themes. I'm going to click on the save button and then I'm going to go to my website, refresh to see if my photo gallery one widget is there. It is. Once I click on it, I should be able to see that it works fine and it does and I'm glad. So I'm going to close this out, move out of here, go back to my widget area and I'm going to talk now about the photo gallery slideshow widget. Photo gallery slideshow widget is right here. I've located it. I'm going to put it exactly in the same area as the one before, secondary widget area. I'm going to click on the add widget button and I have the menu appear for the photo gallery slideshow. I will name it one for the purposes of this tutorial. I will select my gallery, gallery one. The dimensions by default are 200 by 200 pixels. I like my widget here to be 300 by 300 pixels. It looks better that way for me. Under slideshow effect, you can choose from many available effects if you are using a pro version. If you are using a free version, only the fade effect will be available. I'm going to choose scale out effect, time interval. I like my images to appear every three seconds instead of five, so I will choose three. Enable shuffle yes or no. I will leave it at no. Themes one or two, click save. I would like to see that of course, so I will go to my website, refresh, and there you go, it's right there. If I click on the play button, I should be able to see that my images do change from one to another every three seconds. Great, it works. Okay, I would like to talk about the Tag Cloud now. Tag Cloud widget is included as a hosted widget for the WordPress standard Tag Cloud. It will display the tags added to the albums and images to all pages. In this standard Tag Cloud, the photo gallery option becomes available in taxonomy once the photo gallery is installed. So let's look at it. Tag cloud, I can give it a title and under tags I can see that I can add my photo gallery now. An optional tag cloud widget is available with the paid pro version called photo gallery tags cloud and that's the one I would like to demonstrate for you. I'm going to locate photo gallery tags cloud, bring it here by dragging and dropping right here. Menu box of course again opens and I need to give it a title. Photo gallery text cloud one. So after title comes this section here which asks you if your tags should be just texts or images as well. Once I click on image it will ask me if I want to show the tag names. I will say yes. Random tags of your gallery will be displayed or you can specify a number of images in sequence. I will make it a 4. Dimensions of this widget is 250 by 250 pixels and I like it at that size. Should background be transparent? Yes or no? If I say no, it will ask me what color I would like to make it. I like my transparent background. However, I don't like my text color which is white. I would like to make it a darker color because the background of my website at that particular area is white. 
so I will choose black here. Then comes the themes, you choose any one of your themes and click on the save button. And of course, once again I would like to see it, so I will go to my web page, click the refresh button and my photo gallery tags cloud is right here. If I click on any one of these tags, let's say McLaren P1, everything that has been tagged with McLaren P1 will appear here in this gallery. And of course, it works perfectly fine. I can move out of here now. My job is done here well. And that is it for this tutorial. Thank you.